Well, hello everybody. Thank you for watching and welcome to week two of Burst TV. So last week you got to meet the usual Burst TV crew as we danced our way into this project. This week we're gonna get into some clinical stuff, but first I wanted you all to know that this is an interactive space where you have a chance to ask us questions, kind of get to know us and uh, learn a little bit about the, the workings behind the scenes here at Burst. And our first question comes from Laura Waters Murphy. She is a fellow Burst Ambassador. I'm going to go ahead and let our co-founder, Brittany Stewart, handle this one for you. So the question that we have been asked is, do we have a Burst office or headquarters that we work out of? So one of the things that we are incredibly proud of here at Burst is that we do not have a central office. We have an environment it's called a decentralized office where everybody works from home uh, on our full-time team. So we've got folks in Montana, Texas, Oklahoma, Louisiana, Georgia, Wisconsin, Michigan, Florida, here in California. And it's really an environment designed to foster creativity and collaboration around getting tasks done instead of hours clocked. We didn't realize at the time when we had this idea about creating a positive workspace what the outcomes would be. But one of the unintended consequences is that it's an incredibly ideal workspace for people who are primary caretakers of their children. So if you're the person who drives your kid to school, you pick your kid up from school, you attend the sporting events, you're no less brilliant or no less talented than anyone else. You've just decided to prioritize that part of your life. And so we have found ways to work with people who that's important to them and they kill it for us. And so we have this like the best team you could ever imagine. I work from my house mostly uh, in West Hollywood and Hamish works in Venice. So we're about 10 miles from each other, which in LA could be anywhere from 10 minutes to two hours. You never know what you're going to get. Uh, I think there are days that I could actually run to his house faster than it would take me to drive there. And when we need to have sort of like these deep introspective moments, we either come over to each other's house or meet halfway and we'll go eat, have like eight glasses of tea and just kind of really get into it and and then when we see each other at like dental shows the whole team we're all so excited and we have just like the best time and I always come back like I have no voice I've been on the convention floor for like 10 hours and then we go to dinner and we're just so excited to catch up with each other that I realize that I've been talking for like 16 hours straight and I have no more voice left and so I have to like lay on the couch on a Sunday after a convention and have like mint tea with honey until my voice comes back. So uh, that's how we've designed this whole business as best as possible. We are trying to kind of keep that spirit alive because we think it's this amazing thing that we bring uh, to the community and an amazing opportunity. The more I watch Chrissy Teigen, the more I feel like we could be really good friends. Here are five things that'll stain your teeth. I mean, she's always willing to try new stuff and she's funny. And, uh, you know, in her last ad, she was talking about all the stainy stuff like the coffee and wine and blueberries and all the things that we love to eat. And at the tail end, she put some soy sauce on her blueberries. Now, I'm. this is not a soy sauce challenge, so please don't do that. People actually die. I got the low sodium soy sauce, so I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit on here and uh, see how this tastes. You know, a little sweet and a little salty at the same time. All right, let's give this a try. Mm. It's actually pretty good. So tell me honestly, are you gonna try some soy sauce and blueberries now? Listen guys, make sure to hit that subscribe button. You don't want to miss future content. We've got a lot of great stuff coming up, including a little recap of the RDH Under One Roof event. It was insanely amazing. We had such a good time. Honestly, some of us are still recovering. Um, so look forward to that next week. And if you have a question for Brittany or Hamish, you can leave them in the comments below, or you can email me, bursttv at burstoralcare.com. Bye guys, we'll see you soon.